Meghan speechless rage as Charles confirmed her final decision to push Wills near the throne to erase Harry from the royal family. King Charles III knows his reign will last a fraction of the time of Queen Elizabeth II's, but it will carry down his duty to ensure that the throne there for the future generations, a royal expert had told the insider. At 73, Charles is the oldest person to become king in the British history. As he was only three years old when Queen Elizabeth II had ascended to the throne in 1952, making him her heir apparent throughout her 70 year reign. But given his age, Marlene Koenig, a royal historian with a focus on the British and European royalty, said that the new king is actually aware of how much time he could have left. He knows that this time is shorter, Koenig had said, comparing Charles's reign to his mother's but he's going to do the best that he can, as he is, and he knows that he is the caretaker for the next generation, she had added, referencing Prince William, his eldest son, and Prince George, his eldest grandson, and William at 40 and George at 9 are both first and second in line to the throne respectively. Doing his best in the years he has left is something Charles indicated that he actually aware of his first speech as king pledging to uphold constitutional principles throughout the remaining time that God grants me. According to Dr. Bob Morris, in Honorary Senior Research Association at UCLA's Constitution Unit, all monarchs act as placeholders for their heirs to an extent. Somebody's going to replace them, he had said, as there is nothing more certain than that. That said, Morris had said given Charles is not a young king, and the time he has left could be useful to William and his wife, Kate Middleton. I'd help to prepare them to taking over, Morris had said. Recently, King Charles III had allegedly caused a lot of damage to his son Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle by snubbing them at Queen Elizabeth's funeral last month, as per a royal expert. Talking on the Royally US podcast after the title for Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, was revealed on Thursday, October 27th. The royal commentator, Christopher Anderson, said that King Charles' snub to Meghan and Harry could mean that the Sussexes are poised for revenge. As the king's decision is initially not permitted Harry to wear his uniform during the funeral, and acted at this time, it had seemed that Harry and Meghan were being shoved in the background and even shunned, and that that did a lot of damage, I think. Anderson had stated. He had went on to add that I'm almost certain that they, the royal family, won't like this book, and I don't know that Charles will do about it, as he is like his mother when it comes to the monarchy. He is tough. Anderson also shared his beliefs that there can only be one bombshell in that book, as there's no way to avoid the fact that it is going to rub the king the wrong way, he had added. In the comments come as critics are lambasted at Prince Harry for his choice of title for his memoir, as the book publishers had described as remarkably personal and emotionally powerful. In other news, a, a pro-monarchy journalist had accused Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's biographer, Omid Scobie, of whipping up anger against Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton. As the author of Finding Freedom, was criticised by Richard Eden after the former had wrote an article for the uk.style.yahoo.com. As Scobie had wrote, despite spending over $5.4 million on turning Kensington Palace into a forever home, the Cambridges are leaving London this month for a new property at Windsor, and was it all a waste of the sovereign grant funding? Commenting on the article, Eden, who works for the Daily Mail, had said, I see Omid Scobey is desperately trying to whip up anger against the Duke and the Duchess of Cambridge again. And without naming Richard Eden, Omid had reacted to his allegations, saying that all the time in the world to tweet nonsense, but not even a few minutes spent reading the actual article they've chosen to cry about.